Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of Infinito the 2. So welcome to another comparison uh, for Endless and uh, now in this video I'm going to show you what, guys uh, in which way you can obtain more bidders. Uh, is it with uh, bidders drop rate or is it with loot rarity? So which of these two upgrades is going to increase more the amount of bidders you can obtain on any gameplay? Now we already discussed it, the fact that loot frequency is the upgrade that between the three, like the one that you want to upgrade the first and the one you want to prioritize because loot frequency is uh, like the most important one. And uh, but then here I'm very curious, you know, because I've received different questions. And now is it better to like to increase the amount of bidders you obtain? Is it better to go with more loot rarity or to go with more bidders drop rate? So uh, that's the question we're gonna answer today. And as always, I will reset loot rarity. So you can see it's level zero. I'm gonna go into stage 6.3 because it's the fastest one. I will always use the same setup. I've showed you guys many, many times. Uh, the one where I just wait so that I can stack more loot. I can increase the rarity as well. Um, and yeah, I'm going to do two different gameplays. I'm going to do this first one gameplay where loot rarity is level zero and bit death drop rate is maxed. And we're going to see in uh, uh, around two minutes and 50 of gameplay how many bit deaths I was able to get from like the loot. And then we're going to do the opposite. So we're going to reset bit death drop rate to level zero. And then we're going to keep loot rarity level max. And we're gonna see uh, which one is uh, uh, is gonna award us uh, the higher amount of uh, bidders. So once again, it's a comparison video. Like between, like the video I did for loot frequency and loot rarity is exactly the same one, but in this case, is between loot rarity and bid dust drop rate. All right. So core always remember coins, then miners installation time, and then right here. When the energy bar reaches five seconds to seven, uh, that's when I'm going to drop my miner and I'm going to just upgrade it level three and then just always doing the same setup, you know, so in that way we are reducing RNG and as much as possible. Uh, and uh, but remember that always like bit dust drop rate is RNG. Like uh, sometimes you're going to gain more bit dust using the same strategy. Sometimes you're going to get less. It's just random. So you always need to remember about this randomness. All right, level three splash with the ultimate, then going here for the right side of the branch and going for extra mining speed until level four. Always like getting everything as fast as possible. And then uh, getting this miner level five. That's normally what I, what I do. And let's see, because uh, as always, you need to, to do tests because we might have different, um, you might think that the game works in a certain way, but you always have to prove it. You always need to go into a certain level and you need to try it out. I'm trying it here on 6.3 because it's the fastest one, uh, but I, I would say that any in any level, the outcome uh, should be the same. So here we go, last 15 seconds here, 214, and uh, boom, stop. And let's look at the amount of bitters. You can see here, I was able to obtain 674. So, uh, of course, as I said before, this is, uh, oops, sorry. This is uh, because of, uh, well, RNG. So this number could become higher, could become lower. Uh, so just remember about that. And you can see that the rest of the loot is uh, like pretty standard, I would say. Nothing too terrible. There, there are a lot of items here that are lower lower rarity, right? Because of course, loot rarity was level zero. So this is this is pretty much it. And, um, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just reload the game and I'm gonna reset bit the drop rate. All right, so I'm gonna do the exact same task, but now having this upgradable zero and having instead loot rarity level 100, so maxed. 
keeping always like loot frequency level 100 so you can see that i'm not changing uh loot frequency and let's go again here on 6.3 and uh, i'm going to use the exact same strategy as before so uh oops there is no no difference there is uh like everything is as before so in that way i can reduce um the bias and i can compare more effectively the uh, results all right always coins then this one so, do you guys have any predictions? Do, what do you guys, what do you think is gonna happen? Like, I will be able to obtain more bid this compared to before, less bid this, roughly the same amount of bid this. What do you think is gonna happen? All right, here we go. Now it's just about waiting for the energy. I'm using the energy bar as a reference, so that in that way. I'm always placing the miner and upgrading stuff like at the exact same time. Once again, just to reduce uh, the bias. All right, here we go. Five seconds. And uh, here we go. One, two, three. Second ability here for splash. You can already tell that, uh, well, because the loot rarity is much higher, I'm also gaining more, uh, well, the loot is all legendary, right? So that's, of course, the first thing that you can see as difference. But through all this legendary loot, am I really earning more bitis or is just other legendary stuff that I'm earning? You know, that's the, that's the question. So, yeah, we'll see. Right, one, two, three, four, and to level four, and now just waiting to get this one level five. Very nice. All right, and uh, uh, here we go, level five, and now let's just wait until the. The energy bar here reaches 14, as before. And let's see the uh, final numbers. Uh, and uh, that's it, here we go, 14. I want to bid this here, 2200. So, uh, yeah, as I said before, this number could become a little bit higher a little bit lower it just depends on rng but this number is clearly and significantly higher than the previous one right if we if we just compare the two like before i was able to obtain 670 bits right in this case it was able to obtain 2200 so that's like more than three times and of course because of the increased rarity i also got more legendary stuff so more of these blueprints more chess more tickets more stuff for the custom maps and uh, and of course i got less of other loot so yeah here we go that's the overview so um so yeah definitely like between the two you guys can clearly see that uh bit uh, bit dust drop rate doesn't affect the amount of bit dust you obtain as much as loot rarity so uh it's it's crazy you know that loot rarity like increases a lot more the amount of bit you obtain than bit that's drop rate. But that's just how the game works. Uh, we don't have to fully understand why. Very likely because like bit dust is considered as legendary loot. You can see here by the legendary border. And therefore by just increasing the rarity, right? You get more legendary loot. And therefore there's just uh, intrinsically, there is more higher chance of having bit dust between the uh, the loot because it's just chance so between all the legendary stuff that you can earn there is chance of earning with this and uh, that's why in my opinion there is such a high difference right uh, like you get more than three times the amount of loot uh, like the amount of bit this 
One thing that has to be noted though is that the maximum level of beta drop rate is only level 50, it's not level 100, as it is for loot rarity. So just remember this is very very important. And the second difference is actually a more of like a technical difference. The fact that um, beta drop rate is gonna like you're gonna be able to upgrade it much much sooner than loot rarity, because remember. Between loot frequency and loot rarity, you always want to prioritize loot frequency. So you're going to end up using most of your tickets, in, if not all of them, to upgrade loot frequency. And therefore, loot rarity, well, is going to just be kept to very low level. Instead, on beat the drop rate, you don't need prestige tickets. You can just earn, you can just use, well, you will need to use resources, other blueprints, you can see right here. So you're going to need other stuff until level... Uh, level 10, you can see that you don't even need beat this, so you can get level 10, so an extra 100% beat this drop rate, just with without using beat this, and then from level 10 onwards, you're gonna need uh, beat this, you can see it right here. But the cool thing about this upgrade is that you can actually use your search tickets. So, uh, as you are upgrading the level of frequency, as you're gaining more loot overall, um, you can get more of the lucky shot tickets, so you can go into the wheel, you can play it, and you can manipulate it to earn the research tickets, right? as I showed you in another video. And here we go, so that's the research tickets, so you can try to manipulate the wheel as many times as you think it's, uh, it's uh, worth it, until you get good amount of tickets, and then you can get like one or two levels, or maybe three or four, depending on how many tickets you were able to obtain, on beta drop rate so you don't even need to like have all the other requirements to, so to have beat this to have these other blueprints or infiar or green papers you you can just use these tickets right and you get one research for free and therefore uh, that's why uh, even if as i just showed in this video loot rarity increases the amount of bitters you obtain a lot more than with the drop rate but because of the fact that you're gonna need to max loot frequency first, uh, loot rarity it's normally the last thing that you're gonna upgrade. You end up upgrade because you're gonna like need you. You can only use research, uh, prestige tickets, right? You cannot use the other tickets. See here, you can only use prestige, and that's why normally this other level right here, so beta drop rate, you can instead use the research tickets, so you can get more levels much faster. And therefore you can also max it faster so you can reach level 50 faster uh, despite the fact that as i said before loot rarity it's better to obtain more uh with this but be between loot frequency and loot rarity loot frequency is much more important so uh yeah that's just it so i hope that you guys uh, enjoyed this video and i'll see you bye bye